It was dark, but dawn was not far away, when Ernst Lehmann steered his Zeppelin airship past the Cathedral of Our Lady. Until recently, the sighting of an airship would have attracted great crowds, but tonight people were huddled in their homes, and the only spectators were the military night watchmen. The low hum of the engine and the sound of the propellers were barely audible at ground level, but the people below would soon be alerted to the presence of the airship in the most horrifying manner possible. Buildings were destroyed and 10 people were killed as Lehman's crew dumped a crude rack of explosives and incendiary devices off the Zeppelin. Under the Hague Convention, the people of Antwerp had been subjected to a war crime. But in the late summer of 1914, this event, while eye-catching as the first aerial bombardment of civilians, was a minor detail when compared to even more heinous acts that occurred during the so-called Rape of Belgium. Two decades later, Ernst Lehmann would make bigger headlines when another airship he was on, while in very different circumstances, was also involved in a scene of death and devastation. In this episode, I explore the Hindenburg disaster, an event that is much more complicated than a simple mishap. It's a tale of ingenuity, political pressure, ambition, foolhardiness, miraculous survival, and tragic loss of life.